Okay, first up, coming soon. Coming soon, it's our My Little Hacker board. Uh, great if you want to design a CircuitPython powered audio player. Uh, it has an ESP32 S2 module, uh, micro SD card slot, STEM QT port, can run off of AA batteries or USB. Um, something that we've been hacking on, maybe other people want to hack on. Uh, definitely not safe for children. Do not leave <laughs> unattended. Yeah. Um, but uh, can be used if you want to make it, custom it, audio players. It does fit in an enclosure that we happen to have. That's right. That's right. Okay. Next up, another coming soon. Coming soon, uh, but really, really soon, uh, we're going to have a new ESP32 uh, S3 board, uh, STEM QT. This is um, the ESP32 S3 QT with PS RAM. We've always had a version that had four megabytes of flash, no PS RAM. This one has four megabytes of flash and two megabytes of PS RAM. So it's like less flash, but more PS RAM. So I'll make it really good for running with CircuitPython. Um, otherwise, it's actually pretty much the same thing. The chip looks identical. It's just, it just has um, the more memory bonded inside of it. Um, this is coming soon, probably later on this week. So sign up and you'll be notified as soon as they're in the shop. Thanks, up. We finally got a shipment of Pico WHs. Uh, so this is a Pico W you know and love. It has the RP2040 and two megabytes of flash. And uh, the CY43439, I think is the part number. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth Classic, and Bluetooth Low Energy module. Um, this one has headers pre-soldered in, so you can plug and play it into breadboards or dev boards or, you know, extend, extension boards, whatever. Um, it also kind of works with a standard 40-pin socket, which is a fun way to make it uh, easily removable. Um, we also have the Pico Ws, I think, in stock, but, you know, there's some people who want to have headers uh pre-soldered so that they don't have to do any soldering at all and uh now we have them in the shop next up um to go with the uh esp32 sorry to go with the pico wh but also we'll work with um other devices that have a jst sh compatible three pin header is uh socket and plug versions of these jst sh uh, connectors. So we don't actually have anything that uses this cable other than, um, you know, it plugs into the Pico W or non Pico W, uh, non W Pico H. So you see that the debug port that sticks up. If you happen to want to plug into it, or there might be in the future be some designs that have a JST SH three pin uh, connector, this would do the job. Um, we use the same color ordering as the ph version of the stemma but it's kind of like we had to pick something so the pins may not match you know ground may not be black depending on what you connect to but we figured we get these in the shop they might be useful for people who have something with uh these one millimeter pitch connectors on there so there's a socket and then we also have the version with plug pins uh one of each and then like i said oh let me go back yeah. uh jst SH compatible one millimeter pitch. So looks just like the pH two millimeter pitch, but it's one millimeter, much smaller. Okay. We also have a uh, GH4, I think is the part number um, cable. This is used on the Sense 54 and 55. Um, and we might have a breakout board that lets you connect to those in the future. So we so, thought we'd have the cable to start. It's a totally different connector than any of the other JST compatible yeah, yeah, cables. Yeah, <laughs> this one has a latch on it. Uh, but now we have the cable. It's six pins, and you can use it to plug into your SEN 54, SEN 55. We also have an extension cable for PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. People might remember this as the port you would connect your uh, controller to. Ostensibly, these were used um, to let you be two meters farther away from your PlayStation and connect your uh, controller. What we use it for is to cut it in half because then you get uh, the socket and plug half, which allows you to connect to either PlayStations and make custom controllers or connect to controllers without cutting the cable in half because you can't get the connectors anymore. Those are they're not made, but you can get this extension cord. You cut it in half and whoa, you now can turn one product into a uh, breakout for plug and socket PlayStation controller ports. Okay, to start of the show tonight, besides Eli Data, our team, our customers, our community, everyone who makes this thing go is? The SHT41. It's not the SHT40, and it's not the SHT45. It's right in the middle. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Um, the SHT41 kind of combines 
the accuracy at you know 20 to 70 degrees uh, so 20 to 70 percent relative humidity of the SHG 45 but the um overall accuracy of the SHG 40 at the upper and lower end so basically if you're using it in the kind of most common 20 to 70 percent humidity range you're going to get a really nice um let me click on the back I have it I think it's 1.8 yeah, it's like plus or minus uh, one point eight degrees um, typical accuracy, but the max uh, error accuracy is I think two percent, whereas the SHT forty is four or five percent, and the SHT forty uh, forty five I think is max two percent. So it's kind of like in between. It's still very good, and uh, for temperature range, it's plus or minus uh, 0 0.2 degrees centigrade. So um, you know, it's kind of as inexpensive as the HHG 40, but it gets a much better precision closer to the, the SHG 45. That's why we have all three. The prices are a little bit like low, medium, high, and the accuracy is also low, medium, high. New, 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 new.